Amazon, I've been with hunters who could smell animal urine at 40 paces and tell you what species left it behind. You look at the Polynesian seafarers who could, just by reading the ocean like a r series of rivers, which is how they saw the currents, you know, by looking at the rhythm of the waves, they could sense the presence of a distant atoll far beyond the horizon. Uh, you, you, you talk about how the, um, even the taxonomy of Amazonian shaman, when they begin to um, uh, characterize and systematize creation, you know, with, particularly with some of their sacred plants. Uh, you know, I mean, for example, the most, um, one of the most important Amazonian plants is something called ayahuasca, uh, which is a liana. And to the botanical eye, um, there's only, there's one main species that's used. But that species is, is actually, by at least one tribe that I know, the Siona Sequoia, they, have seven, they recognize 17 different types of it. Now to our scientific taxonomic eye, they're all referable based on morphological traits to the same species, indistinguishable. They consistently distinguish them and from great distances in the forest. And you ask them how, what is the foundation of their taxonomy and it's, they'll say to you, well, you take each one on the night of the full moon and it sings to you in a different key. Well, obviously, that's not an idea that's going to get you through Harvard with a PhD, but it's a hell of a lot more interesting than counting stamens. I mean, but more importantly, you th start thinking of what does that intuition really say to you? You know, how do they find these plants in the forest, for example? You know, and they say to you, well, you know, the plants talk to us. And we, of course, with our Descartesian rational mind, say, well, that's nonsense, you know. And it's only nonsense because it doesn't fit into our paradigm. But w when you begin to consider the possibility that, that um, different societies' belief systems can make almost for different individuals, but also make for different levels of perception.